Hi, everybody, and welcome to the NIT semifinal. Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale. Thanks for joining us in this semifinal matchup between the Tennessee Volunteers and the Old Miss Rebels. Number 44 is a player that brings with him a lot of talent and ability. He's a star on this team, and we're going to keep an eye on him tonight. He can defend and he can score. He can give you both of those things on any given night. That's why he's a terrific player. The Rebels will have to utilize his skill to the fullest potential, Dick. The Rebels face a whale of an opponent tonight, Dick. How do they pull this one out? The keys to the game are simple, Brad. First, work the ball to the interior to your post players. Let them be your option number one offensively. Next, you can't win, baby, if you don't get the glass. You must rebound. Rebounding is the key. And lastly, don't get away from what got you here on defense. Don't try and do too much defensively. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. Both teams are looking to get something going here. He takes the shot. The Volunteers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. And as you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, flop city! I tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. Inside. The shooting guard handles the pass. From three-point land. Off the rim and no good. He gets it to fall. That's seven unanswered. Shows patience waiting for the reset. Pull-up jumper from way out. You betcha. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. That was awesome, baby! Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. And the low block. The center receives the pass. You talk about versatility, there aren't many guys that are going to make that fadeaway jump shot. Great touch, impossible to block that shot. Number 14 steals the ball. And the slam. The shooting guard handles the feed. Way off target. Number 12 receives the ball. The Rebels have a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? Goes up for two. They just can't seem to miss. They've had a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. He'll regroup the offense. Trying to pack it inside. Tries to get the D to bite. Up fake. Tries for two. And in and out. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. He keeps the dribble as they reset. He attempts the trifecta. Off the rim and no good. He up fakes. Gets it back out. Here's the three ball. Drains the shot. Inside. Or two perfectly executed. Let's go to the instant replay camera. <laughs> On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. <laughs> On 
loads a three. Ole Miss are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Number two is animated and ready to go. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. They work it around the perimeter. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. With the freebie. Traditionally, this school and conference has been all about football, but now things seem to be changing at Tennessee. Hey, they sure are. Tennessee is quickly becoming a basketball school as well. Their 25,000-seat arena is full more often than not. He tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. They're working around the arc. Number four is pounded. He took it hard to the rack and got the foul. Well, that's what his coach likes to see. His boy's going hard to the hole and not settling for the jump shot. the free throw line opportunity he buries it nice to have you along with us tonight Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside I'm Brad Nessler we got a good one going high post flashes for the ball handler that spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. I think she's right about that, Richie. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you know, great post play. You got a chance to really to win. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Great play to take that to the basket. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. Gets the rejection. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Two. Perfectly executed. Number 32 is called for the foul. Third team foul. Pump fakes. They move it into the front court. High post flashes for the opportunity. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. He goes for three. He misses it. the dribble gives it up picks off the pass well that's good defense a steal on the inside oh what a way to force the turnover great anticipation by the post player here he comes defensively on him on the low block here i'm telling you three-quarter position trying to deny but then he does a great job in post position of spreading his body and getting the ball Looking for a good shot. Jumps in. Basket falls despite the contact. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. 
He rips the Nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Artez just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, it should have been a whistle right there. I thought there was definitely an offensive charge. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. The crowd loves this young man. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have the blocks up there. Yeah, that helps. Picks off the lazy pass. Number 44 is trying to pump up the crowd. Hey, Brad, he's looking for some additional encouragement for this offensive possession. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Tries for two. Doesn't go. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Ole Miss have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. On the outside. Pushing that basketball. On the outside. He shoots from the top of the key. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. Number 44 draws the personal. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad, despite his performance, he has been unable to get his teammates all on the same page. There's a lot of confusion and lack of focus down here right by the bench. He continues to stress to them, relax, play your game. He can't do this alone, Brad. All right, thanks, Aaron. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Left him a nylon in the end. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Fakes the jumper. The skip pass is picked off. job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Moving it around the perimeter. That wide stance and the drop step. I'll tell you, it's all about angles. And if you utilize that drop step, it's like a reverse pivot move. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. block on the move inside and the big guy picks up the foul. Hey Brad, you can't allow a guy to get the ball in that deep and he does a great job putting it to the deck and attacking the basket. Gave it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Here's a flash from the high post. There's a bad pass right to the defender. He brought the ball back down to the floor and he stripped off. Slam jam, bam, up and away, the elevator man, they love it. On the dribble, gives 
it up. Trying to draw some contact. Number 50 with a finger roll. There's the fake. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. He takes the rebound. Number 50 with the fake. There's a double team waiting there. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Tries one from three-point land. I don't think that's the guy they want shooting that shot. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. He makes a nice shot fake. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Way off target. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Can't get the shot to drop. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Now they work it around the perimeter. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Are they confused about who goes where on that double team? Oh, there's no doubt. Goes up for two. He used the screen to create the space for the score on the inside. Number 44 makes a great move to draw the foul. Dicky V, did you see that? That was a great play, but look at him now. He's celebrating with the cheerleaders. Hey, he's out of control, Brad. He wants everyone to get up and enjoy the moment, including the cheerleaders. Makes his first. Hits his second. Oh, big time screen set on the defender. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. In the paint, trying to draw the foul. Contact on the shot attempt causes the misfire. Looking for a good shot. Takes the pass in the paint. Looking for contact. There they come with a double team to stop it. With a stop here, there will be sheer pandemonium in the stand. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Gave it up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Fakes the shot. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. 
Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Looking for a good shot. He puts it in with contact and all. Number 32 gets his first action tonight, Dick. You ask me, Brad, this kid could easily be a starter. Gets it. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Dribble gives it up. Working it around the perimeter. Looking for the foul and off the mark. Takes away the pass. Right, right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special heart, feet in the post. Replay, please. There's the trap. Stolen away. Two doesn't go. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. The whole team that's on the floor is quick, but so is the defense, and they do a nice job. He intercepts it. Working around the perimeter. Leans in. And he scores despite the hack. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Take the shot off the rim and no good. They work it around the perimeter from downtown. Way off target. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Steals a pass. Trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy got his... He got fouled and the bucket. He took it about himself, Brad. Big play, big time story. Number four sees his first action of the day. Man, I love to watch this kid play, Brad. He's the type of player who knows how to really lift the team. Routine. Opportunity for two for one. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He's going to muscle it on the inside. What an explosive move to the goal. No wasted time. He had his mind made up. He was attacking the basket. Number 34 goes to the line. Gets the first. Got 
them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Shot clock is dead. Gave it up. Moving it around the perimeter. Got a nice screen. He shoots from the low post. Off the rim and no good. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Way off target. At halftime, the Rebels are ahead by two. Thus far, it's been a tightly contested game. Dick, what's your highlight of the first half? Watch some of the great inside work in the first half, Brad. The trick is whether or not they can keep going inside like that in the second half. And now let's get ready for the start of the second half. Tennessee is practically handing the ball over to the opposing team like it's a Christmas present or something right now, Dick. Hey, any team would gladly receive this kind of nice gesture. I bet they're not getting anything but a mouthful of criticism from their coaching staff. Dick, as a coach, heading into the second half, focus player update, and uh, you know what it takes. What is it going to take for this young man? Well, I think they got to get him the ball right away and have him attack the basket. I think he's got to be able to become much more aggressive on the offensive side. Double team now. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Look at that spacing. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. With the catch, nice execution on the spin. I'll tell you, great spin move to the basket. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Gave it up. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Off the rim and no good. On the outside. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. They're working around the perimeter. Jumped in front to take it away. Dickey's going to go up strong. Oh, that's a terrific post play. Didn't waste any time attacking the basket. Now they work it around the perimeter. Shots there if he wants it. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. They go inside and now back outside. I'll tell you, inside-outside action always works. He shoots from right of the circle. This guy's not looking for anybody else out there. You're right, Brad. He's got a little too much to prove right now. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Fires away. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's the guy you want shooting from the three-point line. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. Intercept and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. On the dribble, gives it up. He comes away with it. And he goes. 
goes with a spin. I'll tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip going one way and you spin back the other way. He shoots from the top of the circle. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Gave it up. For two, drops the bucket despite the harm. Great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. They'll work it around the arc. Controlling the ball. Perfectly executed. Replay of the night, baby! Side. Moving it around the perimeter. They work the perimeter. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle. A poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. A high screen. And the ball goes out of play. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Picked off. Full court pass. Jumps into the defender. In and out. Any chance these guys are going to slow up on D tonight, Dick? Hey, not on your life, Brad. This defense is here to stay, baby. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Puts it up, looking for contact. Perfectly executed. On the inside. On the dribble, gives it up. Looks at the three. Goes in. He bombs from outside. The Volunteers have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. That he's on fire. With the jump hook, they still don't score. Gave it up. And he'll kick it back outside. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Unloads, way off target. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. And a momentary look from three-point land. From left of the circle, off the rim, and no good. 
They've got a player spotting up on the three. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. The Volunteers have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Jumps in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. On the dribble, gives it up. He tries the three. Sinks the shot. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the circle. The Volunteers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brady's on fire. Picked out of the air. Goes for the steal down low, and he did. And they're going to count it. Determination, baby. Watch out, Dick. Their emotions seem to be getting the better of them. Number four checks back into the ball game. Yeah, I knew they couldn't leave him out for too long. Sinks it. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Wow, the defender walks into a vicious screen. Great job getting back defensively. Looking for a good shot. You know, when you talk about the NIT, one of the schools that comes to mind is obviously St. John's University. They hold the record for the most appearances and the most titles. Over 220 schools have participated in this tournament. It'll be a while before a team surpasses those two records. He's got an open look for the shot. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post from three-point range. Way off target. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. High post screen. Going to use it. They had his shot block. And off the mark. Going to move it around the perimeter. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has a great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They get the 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. to bounce back into action here. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Jumped in front to take it away. Working around the perimeter. Gave it up. He shoots from right of the circle. He's got to pass those off, Dick. He doesn't trust his teammates, Brad. There's the pick. There's the roll. For the bucket. The land. Two and in and out. He blocks the shot. Perfectly executed. In the paint, number 50 is charged with the foul. Second team foul. They work it around the perimeter. 
Entry pass in the paint. Trying to draw some contact. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. The Volunteers are up by 10. Picks off the lazy pass. On the outside. Number 50 is whistled for the foul. Third team foul. On the outside. On the inside. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Fronts in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. They work the perimeter. From right of the circle, rims out. Picked out of the air. Up and inside. For the deuce, off the rim and no good. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Moving it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He goes to the free throw line. He misses his first shot. Second shot is good. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Look at that spacing. Number 25 picks up the foul. First team foul. They work it around the perimeter. away the pass. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. On the outside. The ball goes out of play. Dribble gives it up. That one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on the defensive player. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. And he missed. Great defense. For the bucket. Rims out. Trying to pack it inside. There it is, Jam City. They'll work it around the arc. Gave it up. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. For two. 
They still don't score. Takes away the pass. Cross court. Steals the pass. They're whistled for a backcourt violation. Those kinds of mistakes kill momentum opportunities. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job. Gets a hand in the way. Working it around the perimeter. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Tennessee are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Launches away. He gets the bucket to fall. Lobs it. Trying to draw the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. Goes up for two. The lay-in. his size with a power move. Oh, what a power goal. Jump stop. Takes the ball to the goal. Strong. Here's a double team. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Again, a little one-man backcourt pressure. shoots from the baseline. He's clearly forcing things right now, Dick. He's taking his team out of the game. There's the trap. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. On the dribble, gives it up. He goes with a baby hook. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Well, Dick, it looks like they're going to spend a little bit of time fouling right here. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. And yet another foul. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. And the clock stopped with a foul. <laughs> and yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. He goes to the line for the first time. He makes the front end of the one and one. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Hits the second. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Something different here coming out of this timeout, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Number 34 has a lot of fire and energy in him right now. Gave it up. Up and inside. 
on the dribble, gives it up. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. For two, bounces off. He intercepts it. They run it up into transition. For the bucket. Up. Easy one. The center gets the pass. And the ball goes out of bounds. The shooting guard gets the ball. Ole Miss can't pull this one out. Very good game. It's tough to lose such a close game, but these kids can hold their heads up high with the effort they put forth. So for Nick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.